This is smart. Left alone. It's the lob pass out wide. Cross now for Harrison Barnes. He elevates and comes up with the first points inside 20 seconds. This is Joe Ingalls. Wrap around play. Baines. Penetration. Down low. Off glass. Can't convert. And Barnes is there for the rebound. Rushes back up the floor. Marcus Smart in support. Fires quickly and gets it done as well. They've scored the first five after scoring the first six in game one. We need Daly to get fired up and land out with the offensive rebound. Doesn't have the same athleticism, but good timing and in the right spot. Australia's going to be competitive. Need to get a lot more out of Joe Ingalls. Got like to see him get going early as... United States just come out on fire. They love the ball inside. Landale shares it now. Baines got a good look at it. Nice off the hand. He comes up with Australia's first triple. Oh, they are unconscious at the moment, the United States. That's four of four, including three straight from deep. USA by four. Almost three minutes played. Opening quarter action. Mills works into the paint. Fall away. Nice finish. His first score in the game. That's just an NBA move with the point guard being able to find his spot. Miles Turner misfires. This is Ingalls. Well, Landale again finds some space. He throws it down on the USA. Well, this is good start from Australia as Baines jumps upstairs to throw it. Pendleton fires. It's all the bottom of the net for him as well. Mills looking for the penetration now. Finds some space. Landale arcs up the three. It's off the mark. Baines the tip in. Couldn't get it to work. And now it's off to the races with Donovan Mitchell. Decides to go solo. And it was a good option as Mitchell comes up with his first field goal. Working hard for Bogut, and eventually it came back to him, and the bogeyman comes up with his first score. Aussie's doing well on the offensive glass at the moment, 4-1. Here's Walker, who checks into the game, and has an immediate impact and opens his account. Bogut, nice pass inside, Mills can't convert, Plumley gets it out quickly, and Kemba Walker, confronted by Della Vadova, loses the handle, has to go back and retrieve it. Now some contact, no whistle, Walker goes on with it, and why not when you can finish like that? Kemba Walker was well, going solo at the moment, and look at that finish. He's now up to seven in the game, including three and three from the field and a game-high eight-point lead. We're on a 7-0 run here, Team USA, as Ingles works into the corner. Catch and shoot Kane from that man, Chris Golding, and he picks up where he left off in game one. Slower tempo from the Boomers as Bogut gets it. Shot clock to single digits. Now on the floor, wants Ingles rolling to the hoop from close range. He gets the two to open his scoring account. Ingles from close range, hands over to Nick Kay. Pass was deflected, and now Kemba Walker with it. For the United States, Scott Jalen Brown working with him. That's a tough shot, but he made it look easy to come up with his first score in the game. Cam with it onto the floor for the Boomers. Inside the last minute of this opening term, Ingles, guarded by Jalen Brown. A clear out for him, here's Nick Kay rolling down to the low block. Did well, protected the ball, and came up with the finishing touches. This is Bogut. Firing over the top, whistle on the play, he gets it, chance at a three-point play and a quick foul called on Brook Lopez. Deliver Dover getting some treatment, needs help, this is Ingalls. Works into the paint, largely uncontested and off class, adds another two to tie it away at 28. As Ingalls brings them up the floor. Game working to the foul line and now decides to fire over the top. Australia in front for the first time in the game. That is a great sign for the Boomers. One of the mantras from uh, Coach Popovich is composure and poise. And being headed by the, the Boomers for a brief minute, is that's what they're going to have to come up with to be able to work their way through. Here's Middleton with it. Shot clock works to single digits now as so he shares it to Marcus Smart. Against Baines, we caught him a little off balance, and he gets down low enough glass, adds another two. Here's Mitch Creek. Landale. Goes back to Creek. Muscles into the paint from close range. Nice finish for Mitch Creek to get his scoring account open. Still, the USA with just two field goals in this quarter. Look at Mills look off the D and get down low and add another two. Top of the key, this is Brown firing and filling it up. A much needed bucket for the USA. Paddy Mills with it, shot clock at 10. Trying to move away from Walker, gets it back in rhythm, fires unsuccessfully. Tatum got a piece of it, and he's got help down there as well. As they reel it in, and a chance now for Team USA to tie it away. And it sinks, and they have tied it. This is Paddy Mills. Took over two minutes out from halftime. He puts the foot on the accelerator, and he gets a user-friendly roll as well. He's up to nine points in the game. Walker looking for the answer, and he has got it. And that's what we're talking about in the last game. You heard Andrew Bogan yelling out, 
Ice, ice. Nick Kay taking on Jalen Brown. Oh, good effective finish as well from Nick Kay, who's got four in the game on two of two shootings. Tatum grabs it next. Still yet to score in the game, but if you're going to open your scoring account, do it like that. Well, ten lead changes in this term. It has been an outstanding action as Bogut goes to work. He gets it done. Chance of a three-point play. What a story that has been as Bogut gets a rest. Two-time Olympian two-time world championship player Thanks, and a four-time championship winner here in australia with three different teams 35 years of age he may be pound for pound the strongest player in our domestic nbl how about that finish nice work there from white mills looking for penetration scoop pass baines at the top for the three it's deep and turner grabs the rebound so impressive in game one turner 15 points 14 boards here he is again wheeling and dealing and a nice finish as well his first field goal of the game usa has scored the last oh, pains with a clean up dunk and he's happy about it as well with a chance at a three-point play Ingles guarded by middleton who's giving him close attention now he looks off the d just didn't get enough on the shot and kemba walker with a rebound and off and running this is looking dangerous for the USA as he feeds Barnes who works closer to the hoop and comes up with the two. He's got 13 on five of five shooting. Mills off balance, fire on one leg, comes up with the two. He's got nine in the game. That's how good he is. Picture perfect shooting technique. And that's that's nice as Turner provides for Chris Middleton. And that's too easy. Landale making himself a presence. The USA put a stop to it. And chance now for Kemba Walker. Oh, look at the quicks he's got. Yeah, too fast. He's lightning quick as he makes two draws a foul so the margin out to six the biggest we've seen in the second half and no Kyle Kuzma tonight finished with 12 points in game one but sitting out this with a sore left ankle as Landau jumps upstairs and throws it down it's been 16 points to eight in favor of the USA in this quarter but Bogan gets a user friendly roll and he's now into double figures with 11 and no one has more for Australia eight point ball game middle stages term number three pressure up the floor Nick Kate is looking a little concerned and that's why they forced him into an error tatum will finish in style well if we're relying on nick k to bring it up against the little two two one we're going to be in some big trouble Ingles, we turn down the wide open three they get an even better shot as he rolls to the hoop and he's into double figures now bogan behind the back pass mills back to bogan confronted by plumley says you can't guard me i'll have two i'll go to the line so a five point run from Australia. They halve the deficit, deficit, but not for long as Jalen Brown comes up with a two. Bogut Mills wheeling around for the three. Bottom of the net went back to within two. So here's Della Vadova. Quiet night by his standards. Just the two points. Yet to hit a field goal. Just for one assist as well. Paddy Mills. Thank you very much. And here's Jason Tatum. Wanted contact from Kay. No whistle. Feeds in the corner. Ready to go. Donovan Mitchell. Already 27 points in this quarter for the USA, their highest scoring quarter of the game. They lead by four after starting this turn with a one-point edge. Is Bogan tough shot. He makes it work. Bogan now with 16 in the game on seven of eight shooting. Zella Dover against Tatum. Looks inside. Nick Case hook shot on the bottom of the net. We're tied at 76. Ingles harassed by Middleton. He's playing with three fouls. Ingles, good use of the body and just helps himself to two. Australia have a four-point buffer here. And Ingles up to 12 in the game. Ingles picks up the dribble. Creek looks inside. One of Baines. Pass was battered and deflected, but it came to him now. And the big man's got it with five on the shot clock. He goes to work with a hook shot against Miles Turner. Australia scored 10 without reply and led it by six. Oh, big play at the other end. They needed that team, USA. It was slipping away. Don't think that Popovich isn't going to those huddles now. He's trialing different things. He's evaluating what players are going to get it done at critical times in the game. Shot clock rolls to 10. Baines working against Joe Harris in a mismatch in height. Muscles his way inside. Short-armed it. Tatum taps it to the advantage of Barnes. This is where we need Andrew Bogut on the court as well. I think we have to find a way for Bogut and Baines as we see a big three corner pocket for Harris. Mills catch and shoot for the answering three. Australia back on top. Walker, he fires, can't connect, and Bogut the rebound. Boomers are three of 11 from the field in this final turn. Need a high percentage play, and Bogut gets it back for Ingles. Guarded by Turner in a mismatch. Might like his chances here, says I do indeed. Joey stepping up exactly when the Boomers needed. Hasn't shot the ball well. 
history beckons here in Melbourne as Mills retreats away from Tatum and they reset. They isolate for Mills and the triple. It's oh. the The Boomers with the fans behind them. They go to Barnes and from close range, Barnes gets two back. Eagles wants. Goes to Delavadova. This is Bogan. Shot clock rolls to single numbers. Is Mills the man again? Oh, he's more than that. Okay, beautiful recognition by Andrew Bogan. Created that separation for Mills. Ingles, Mills, the do it all. Seven for Mills, including ten in this quarter. Donovan Mitchell needed that, the USA. Della Dover looking for Mills. Beckons him toward the ball from the elbow. Mills. Oh, oh, Wrecking machine. Patty Mills puts Australia six up. A minute and a bit to play. Donovan Mitchell draws Bogan out and calmly ices three. We've got a one possession game. They let it fly. And Eagles has got it. Australia on the edge of the most remarkable win. They need a foul. And they do. Donovan Mitchell gets the foul. He's out of the game. Well, he's had some big moments, Paddy Mills. But right now, the way he feels about Australia, his love of his country, and everything he has worked so hard for, I don't know if he's been feeling it as much as he is right now. This is amazing, Casey. This really is amazing. What a statement from the Boomers. What a turnaround game. USA rush up the floor. They come up empty. Here it is.